Do you use DaVinci Resolve 18? Do you want to learn some things? How about blurring an object? Let's say you don't want to show this label or the label on your shirt. I'm going to show you what I learned. We're going to get to it. It's going to take about five minutes. Y'all stay with us. Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Glad everybody's here today. I hope you're having a great week. I hope you're doing great. So DaVinci Resolve 18. I've been learning a lot about it. I'm, I'm not a professional. I don't even claim to be, but it's a fun hobby to, and it's a fun piece of software to use. Um, I don't have any problem with it, Mac or Windows. It's, uh, it's, in, it's an enjoyable piece of software to use. I hard to believe I just said that, but today I'm going to show you how to blur an object. So let's say you have a, an object that's going to stay static, like this label or uh, your hat or your shirt, maybe that whiteboard back here, and you don't want people to see it, you know, it might go against a sponsor's wishes or uh, your family, religious, your pastor might get mad at you. Uh, it could be anything. Lord knows your wife could get mad at you about something. I don't know. So we're going to be able to go in and do this. It's going to take about five minutes. So let's switch over to my screen capture. We're going to open up DaVinci Resolve 18. This is uh, 18.0.3. The build just came out. Today is the 22nd of September, 2022. So we're going to go up here and I made a little 12 second file that, um, that we can use right here. It's called water bottle. I'm going to drag it down to my timeline. And all this is, I'm sitting here holding this bottle of Kroger water, and I don't want Kroger to think that people think I'm sponsored by them. I don't know why in the world I'd ever think that, but or they would think it. So my head's moving, my eyes are moving, the bottle's staying static. But I don't want anybody to see that label. So we're going to go down here to the bottom, we're going to go to the color wheel, and it's in between the fair light and the fusion, so the color wheel. And there you can see the label. Here's the toolbar right here in the middle of the page. This gives you all the little tools and, and selections and stuff. Right here is window. You go and click on it, it gives you all the shapes and uh, gradients and stuff. And I'm going to pick a square. And there you can see the square on the screen. And I'm going to come down here, I'm going to drag it to the middle. Now, if I go to the corners of that square, it gives me a little uh, pliers, a little selection tool. I'm just going to drag it down right there, and I'm going to take each corner, and I'm going to cover the label. Just like that. All right, and that should, that should have it right there. So now I'm going to go two places over to the blur tool. And what this is going to give me on the left-hand side is a radius. And this is a radius blur. And there's three bars here with a little silver bar in the middle. I'm going to grab that little silver bar. And I'm going to ramp that thing all the way up. And now you can see it here. You can't see it there. Unless you know what a bottle of Kroger water looks like. I don't know. I'm... Now if I play the video, my head's moving, my eyes are moving. The bottle's staying static, and you can't read the label. So that's pretty cool. So now if I go back to the, the uh, cut page, there we go. Now I can do the whiteboard behind me. I can do the label on my shirt. As long as it's not moving, I don't have to track it. It's blurred. Uh, my next video, I hope to do a tracking. I've been learning how to do that. So it's, that is a... A little more, a little more in depth. So I hope you get something out of this. If you got any questions, leave them in the comment section down there. If you blur objects in a different way, let me know. I'd like to know how other people do it. But I hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified if you like this content. I am so glad you made your way over to my channel. This is a fun hobby for me, and I'm enjoying it takes my mind off my job. 
But I'm going to leave it right there and give you your evening back and hope that you're doing well. And like I always say, until the next video, thanks for watching.